MovieWeb.com. Skinwalkers. So you're playing one of the good werewolves in this film. That's true. That's true. Playing Adam Kilmer of the uh, the werewolves who do not feed on humans because it's morally wrong. No. What what is it like to get strapped up in this apparatus they have you strapped to? It is it's an experience on itself. So we have these these large um, cocoons that are strapped into the side of this truck, and I mean they were really bolted in there. So we had the freedom to really fight against them, and that's. That's the challenge of the beast right there, is because you don't want to be strapped down when you're consumed by hunger. So being able to really, you know, not only go through the prosthetics and really have that transformation and find the power there, but being able to really let loose and know that, you know, you're safe within these boundaries and go for it, it was an experience all in itself. This story is based on a Navajo mythology. Did you ever go to a reservation or go experience like the sweat lodge or take a vision quest before making this movie? I've never done anything like that, but it interests me so much. Um, unfortunately, no, I, I haven't had the experience. From what I've read, the director actually believes he's a werewolf. Was that? <laughs> did he do that on the set? Did he just walk around pretending to be a skinwalker? I think he really. I, Jim really enjoyed himself doing this, and this was something that was close to his heart. Um, so he, I mean, he was he was a kid in a candy store building this movie, so he, he definitely had a lot of fun. Did you have to go and study any wolf movements or anything like that to kind of get into your character? We, for, for, for my uh, character, we don't really get to really explore as, as a wolf because we strap ourselves in, um, fighting the urge, the beast within. Um, so unfortunately, I didn't get to run around like Jason Bear and Kim Coates and you know. <laughs> One of the scenes I saw was the gun battle. Okay. And the first thing that came to my mind is why do werewolves need guns? Why not? Silver bullets. <laughs> I mean, if you're not, we're not going to transform unless the moon is out and, and really, I mean, we're using it as protection because the last thing we want is to be out and have the, the, the beast consume us. It's a, it's a change that we've been fighting our entire lives. Did this allow the beast inside the actor to come out while you were making this movie? Absolutely. And that's, I mean, that was one of the most freeing experiences that you could ask for, is being able to be totally safe and know that, you know, Jim is gonna take care of you as the shots go on, but having these, these restraints to fight against, but not being aware of it, you get into a mind space where something else takes over and it's, it's, it's such a freeing experience. You come out of it, you're exhausted, you don't know what just happened in the past five minutes, but you know, it was, it was something else. Now, did they ever like have you eat raw meat or have you tasted a little bit of blood on the set of this movie? Did they go in any of that direction? We, we never went that far with it. No, <laughs> gnawing on a uh, cow leg, hey, what's going on? No. <laughs>